<laughs> I That's just a can't really believe good I idea. This, <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. So, anyways, um, why don't you start, Carrie? Do you want to? Explain, Happy to. Yeah, share your experience of the summit. Thank you so much. And, you know, honestly, I think both you and Nishan have already touched on what I felt in it. And that is um, all of us came together for what is common among us. We didn't all come there to tout our system mm -hmm. and compete against one another mm -hmm. and, and try to build upon one another. We all came in with the, this common heart for love of the horse to be sure, but also mm -hmm. I think we all came in with a, this awe of how many people are realizing it's more, it's about more than just the horse. Mm -hmm. It's about the horse. Why do we care so much about the horse? Because of how it feels, because of the love that it inspires in each of us. And so to me, this was the most amazing, mind blowing, oh my God, it's actually happening. Part of it, uh, part of the whole summit for me was rec watching people. Feel love hmm. among people. Hmm. It, that was the the I was watching this, and my friend Kay, who's right here hiding behind me, <laughs> she had um, the, my favorite quote about the whole thing was Kay said, "Wow, you know, in the equestrian world, there's usually so much us versus them, but mm -hmm. here at the summit, there's only us." And we're allowed to do things differently. And uh, like you said, like, thank God we do things differently. If everybody was just like me, the world would mm -hmm. be very boring. Well, <laughs> kind of fun, but mostly boring, right? <laughs> but, but really, like, like you said, it's the uniqueness mm -hmm. of each of us and our, our unique expression. Even if we say exactly the same words, we're, mm -hmm. we're not going to say them the same way. And, mm -hmm. and the horses are not going to receive my words the same way as yours because I'm me and they will feel me and you're you and they'll feel you and in at the summit it was like whether or not everybody would have cognitized it this way themselves what I was watching is people sort of rubbing their eyes and blinking their eyes and like you said realizing they're not alone realizing it's okay to feel even among other humans, realizing that other people are stepping into that same vulnerability themselves and we're all doing it together. Huh. So because of that, I mean, that's been my journey the whole way is horses kept pushing me, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Like don't stop just uh -huh. because you figured out how to communicate with us. Don't stop just because you figured out how to share your energy and communicate, mm. it, you know, energetically with us. It, it go play with the humans, and it brought me to tears several times at at the summit. Um, and and thank you, Warwick, for you know sharing his journey so vulnerably and leading the way and dropping a, a little drop in the ocean that hey, we could do this. And, and seeing so many people come together, participants, and to me, it felt like participants and presenters as peers, all, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're the ones standing up on the stage, but we're also the ones doing the stuff. So, you know, we're all doing the stuff. And it was, um, it was a remarkable gift to be part of that and um, to be there and watch it all happen. Yeah. You, you mentioned love in the beginning, and, and I feel like, you know, that's like classic Nishan to talk about that. Um, but th what I feel like th that, you know, love is often talked about, but I feel like the coolest part was that love could be felt. There was, yes. there was a genuine fabric or sensation or energizing of the actualized feeling of love, like the space of love. Um, and I feel like it, it was channeled through every single presenter unknowingly to us. Like we all prepared, but, but there was a consistency every single person's message was the heartbeat of that we need to love each other we need to you know we need to keep growing this connection we need to help each other grow we need to have each other's backs you know we need to break these bonds of you know like us versus them or you know um it, and, and it was it, but it seemed like that was set beforehand in the energy 
because it was in everybody's message. Everyone's message was the same. We just kind of started it by talking about unique things. But I just feel like, man, that was that was the richest part, probably, or one of the richest parts for me was just that that was the feeling of love. Um, the, the transformative element to it, and I, it it was inescapable. <laughs> it changed the building, you know. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it li- literally the the actual physical building felt different, and um, that was the transformative agent. Absolutely, beautifully said, Josh. Mm, cool. What about you, Jane? You want to share? Or do you want to hide? <laughs> Can I do both? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I've just come in like ready to sit back and soak up the awesomeness. And now I feel like I'm on the stage again at the summit, slightly <laughs> shitting my pants. <laughs> um, you know, it was all of everything that you said. And in so many ways, I feel like I've slipped through the crack and ended up in Narnia. Like uh-huh, that's how, yeah. how it right. is. And I'm, um, for me, on a personal level, within that container of transformation, I've come home and I feel like, oh, you don't get to hide anymore. Like you don't get to like mm. do your little thing at home <laughs> and just keep in the safe space that you've been in and and practice and train and teach and all of those things within this like, self-defined arena Mm. because now you've had this little like and you've fallen (laughs) through the wardrobe and now it's like wow Mm. look at where we are and that's a really beautiful thing right like it's a it's a there's a shattering of lots of things of normality and the way things that were uh that that needs to reconfigure and I feel Mm -hmm. that reconfiguration going on at the moment and I'm not Mm -hmm. exactly sure what that looks like I wrote Mm -hmm. a little bit about that on my page today um but definitely like the um you know on the one hand there was just this incredible heartbeat and force of collaboration amongst mm. the presenters and for me coming in I mean uh Nashon mentioned briefly at the um best horse practice of the summit seeing your thing and thinking oh my god like I was like that with everyone I'm like hi oh, hi like it's Jane and I, no, I'm gonna run over here and like hide in my corner and like and you know we end up being friends which is just so mind-blowing to me um so I just guess it's it's like anything I just showed up to be part of the conversation I felt really fortunate to be part of the conversation and I felt like I gained so much more than I ever gave um mm. and for me that's such a blessing coming home because I feel like not only within the um the incredible people that were there as part of the audience generally but just like I feel like I'm part of a bigger network now like part Mm -hmm. of a team where Mm -hmm. um and for me that's a very precious thing because I have felt isolated in what I do I am physically geographically isolated and Mm -hmm. it's been a a feature of my last few years that I'm kind of ticking along doing my thing and now to feel part of that bigger matrix is incredibly uh special actually I really hold that dear to my heart I 100% agree. And I feel like it makes me think two things. And the the first one is, I feel like the summit was composed of all of the same thing for all of us is that we all came in kind of coming from our small corner, you know, doing our own little thing. And but then realizing that, that, that there's just uh, that each one of us has something beautiful to offer. And it's, and it's actually not just about our own blessing, but it's about the blessing of something that's happening on the earth and that we're, that everybody is a big part of that. Um, and it's not necessarily about, um, like growing our businesses or doing that. It's just about being together. And that, that, that spark of unity is the thing that channels the change in people. And I feel like there's a tone that's set. Um, so I actually travel in a lot of different realms in my life with the things that we do with our horses and our kids. And, and one of the challenges that I've found in the, in the horsemanship industry is a general depth of, of criticism and judgment. And it's really unfortunate. It's just like, you know, this person does this and well, then I like them and I don't like this person and they do that. And, and I, I really am just so hopeful that as, especially as the leaders that we unite, as the, there's more people coming together like this, that it just starts to break that down. Like, it's just that we just don't even need it. It's just, there's just no need for any type of disunity, you know, outside mm-hmm. of us all desiring 
to be with horses, to love them, to love each other, to, to grow and, and, and do our best. And I feel like, I think somehow, you know, Carrie and I are going to talk about the snow globe next week. And I feel like that's kind of shook in me, this whole bit of like, just keep being my light and don't underestimate it. And as I watched every single person at the summit, you know, do their thing. And it's like, we're all on the same page. And I, is this not a perfect example of it? I had zero, I didn't know what was going to happen tonight, but it's like, mm. it all, it feels even more and more comfortable for us all just to keep getting together. Totally. That it isn't, it isn't just, it is family and it is, I don't know. Uh, it's. Yeah. I like, I've got my tea. Josh is online. Carrie's yeah. here. And Sean's like, let's yeah. do this people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you know, fun. something that I realized off the back of it, just with what you were talking about is that collaboration is a spiritual practice actually. Mm -hmm. And that. Mm to be able to jointly and cohesively come together is a demonstration of, of that, is a demonstration mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. that energy. And what I love now is like, I can see something that you and Carrie are doing together. I can see something that Ashan's doing and I, I get to elevate it. Like mm -hmm. within my little place that I've mm -hmm. built, within people that may not have seen you before, many will have, but I get to say, oh, look at this. Like, this is mm -hmm. amazing. You should be a part of this mm -hmm. and feel really good about that. Like not feel yeah. threatened or mm -hmm. like, well, maybe they'll, that will be detrimental to my position. Like there's right. no right. element of that that comes in. It's like, this mm -hmm. can only be of service of, to something bigger. This can oh, yeah. only be better, right? This can yeah. only be more loving. And that's what it came down to. It's like every time where perhaps collaboration doesn't exist it's because there is a seed of not good enough or not worthy enough that exists yeah. behind that yeah. a seed of competition and if we can stamp that out then actually everyone gets elevated and that's what I love because then mm. that benefits everyone and horses and beyond that and so that makes my heart full where I can be like check out these people they're amazing you want to sign up to all of their stuff like get in amongst it um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so and really so feel that like with my whole person yeah I 100% agree. And I feel like that's actually a really good testament to love having its impact. Because what that means then is that that that's, that's a demonstration that it is in the heart. Because when it's really about us all growing and sharing the message and bringing change and helping relationships and, you know, helping, as Sean said, helping our, you know, our, us on our insides, you know, loving ourselves, loving each other, then it really is about just constantly pouring into whatever in that moment needs energy poured into it of whatever anybody's doing and i just yeah it's, it's so so good and again another opportunity just to share how love has changed the heart you, you know what i mean like or continues to grow the heart or something that's beautiful yeah. Jane. and it's so also good. it's too much on an individual level you know like it's too yeah. much to hold alone it's too mm. heavy it's too you know, we're like so important and nothing at all at the same time like, right. so it's like I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love yeah i just love being able to go oh thank thank god God, you know, like thank God there's all these people that I can be like amazing. Here, here they are, like choose from yeah. the chocolate box. Yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Nishan? I think that I think that I think kind of the most important thing about is that we learn to love ourselves in relationship with other people. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Like relationships and, required. That's right. Mm. That's right. It, it we learn to love ourselves in relationship with other people. And I think that and I think that um and just kind of speaking to what Jane just expressed so beautifully like like you know like it's out of that love that we're learning that's out of that love for ourselves that we're learning in relationship with other people that we're then able to offer so much more of ourselves in a healthy way to, to everyone else, mm. you know? And I think that that's, and I think that for me, like that's the, that's the most important part. Like the, the love of self comes out of relationship with other people. And so does the healing of the parts of life that have been mm. really, really hurt. Mm. Um, you know, um, because it's like all of my horses are horses that nobody wanted. And like it's it's and and it's out of and it's out of the work with them that you know they trust you. And I think Carrie, you can understand this. You begin they begin to tell you the stories of the people who hurt them. Mm. 
you know they're like this is what the limits of their this is what the limits of their of their understanding um resulted in a hurt me Mm. without the judgment like they when you're able to listen without the judgment you can write stories without judgment and your awareness to it it breaks your ego down in a hurry for trying trying to judge anybody you can just can't anymore you can just listen you just mm. listen. It's it's mm. a it's a deep listening space, and out of that space, you begin to really understand how important it is to ask questions that horses or students or lovers or friends can feel safe inside of. Mm. Mm. You know, and you only learn how to, you only learn how to ask those questions in relationship with other people who are teaching you how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, because you can only ask questions that people feel safe inside of when you feel safe inside of others' questions. It's (laughs) this beautiful, it's this beautiful, just coily thing. (laughs) Reciprocal. Yeah. Yes. It's a paradox. It's a paradox, really, that always comes down to um, an individual's willingness to feel themselves. Indeed. And and then put yourself, feeling yourself in the presence of another and watch, not control, not force. And this is why- Just be available. Exactly. Show up, right? This is why the journey with horses can take us to that place because the horses don't ever need us to be different than we are. And that mm-hmm. is that takes some getting used to when you're so used to bludgeoning yourself, you know, but if you stop bludgeoning yourself in front of horses and with horses, you get this feeling like, oh, this is what it feels like that that the, the being across from me isn't out to get me, even if I'm out to get myself. And that yeah. that has been for me, the catalyst the whole way that that's been the touch point that helped me remember who I'm here to be is -hmm. that person without conflict. And, um, you know, speaking to this group that came together at the summit, consciously, cognitively or, or not, I think we all just felt the invitation to be in that place where nobody's asking you to be different than you are. It's and not it a performance. Might, it's exactly nothing yeah. to prove. Just please share, show us who you are. Just be, yeah. And these mm-hmm. humans, like humans got to be among humans feeling like horses. And that, it, it was literally dreams coming true for me because this is what I, my heart has been looking for since I was 11 years old. And I just, we got to walk through it and, and create it together and, the splash and the ripples, I like blah 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 blah. blah you know, <laughs> it, I'm so excited for how this all ripples out and how, what comes back to us and what we can share more and how we can inspire other people to share from and their support wisdom. each other. Yes, you know, and I think, and I think more importantly for me is that I think what was exemplified on a larger scale is really the embodiment of what the true nature of love looks like and is and the reason for that. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. And how and how the softness of love burns away any impure thing, <laughs> you know? Um, and and how and not by pushing it away like an exorcist or something but mm. like by creating room for it like here's some cookies and some tea like tell me your story <laughs> you know and tell me and 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 how that listening and how that listening that act of listening just to whatever comes is the conduit of of positive change yes. mm. You know, yes. I mean, and how you are that embodiment. You are that embodiment in that moment. 
of 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 a piece of what unconditional love looks like and what it's for yes and, and what it feels like to share it to be in a what, space that shares it it's not like just, i'm yeah. sharing with you you're sharing with me we are here sharing unconditional love that's right that's right and 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 i think that the 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 beautiful moment the the beautifully transcendent moment is seeing that in the person you're sharing it with like you clearly you clearly see yourself in your true nature in that moment you know and yes. and and how and how and how it is so precious and it is so true that language can't touch it it's inadequate mm -hmm. right which i think also truly is our true nature because when we just spend time with horses i love just cleaning my horses stalls in the morning cleaning their runs in the afternoon because when you when you when you are to that place where words don't matter like there is this language of just pure understanding like i just you're here cleaning my shit but i just want to connect with you <laughs> i'm going to come i'm going to come up and i am just going to look at you and let you know how much i really love you Yes. Not because not because you're cleaning my shit and you give me hay, but because you're consistent, you're consistently safe. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Yes. yes. I have a ritual I can trust. You know, it's it's really, it's really important. Mm -hmm. It was it was really, really something. And what was really, really beautiful for me is how even the people in the kitchen who were cooking our food at the restaurant like I would be there in the morning and they are like what is this all about <laughs> you know I mean I'm like it was really really beautiful while I, my bagel was in the toaster like the guy who cleans the cups was coming out and he was like whoa like this is incredible <laughs> you know I mean and that's the that's that's the purpose of it is that yes. love when it's true it's it, it's for everyone yes and and there is no limit there is no um ending to it's it it's infinite it it's perpetual and yeah. it is every dimension in every direction but those are fancy words until you actually recognize the experience while it's mm. happening and in that's, the earth that's the real gold is is actually get it, watching being in an environment where you look around and you're like oh my god and you this feel it. it you feel this it this is it yeah it's you the feeling feel yes that's, you feel that's, it in your blood you yes know? <laughs> yes and then you look you make eye contact with somebody and your eyes just go whoa oh my god yeah yes like yes. you're walking around and just saying yes to each mm -hmm. other yes yeah that's it. And that is what love does. Love walks up and says yes. And everything then, is yes and everything yes. Can indeed. Happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There, can be, there can be challenge in this too, I think, though, in the aftermath as well, which is what you and uh, Josh, Kerry and Josh are going to be talking about, which is like, and now we have juxtaposition, right? Like, we're oh, like, you see and you experience and then you return. And it's like, okay, now I can't unsee what I've seen over here or unfeel what I felt over here. And now I need to somehow find these threads of this fabric and bring it to everything else in my experience that feels perhaps not that in some ways. Um, does that it make changes, sense? It makes perfect sense. It changes your relationship with the familiar. Mm -hmm. And so like there's there's a kindness and a simplicity that we're, we get to talk about um, that is it we use before the summit we related to what we think and who i think i am and what i think i know in a certain way and then now boom, i'm a different version mm -hmm. of myself that i've never been before so mm -hmm. yeah there's discomfort and there's confusion of course there is it doesn't mean there's anything wrong and i think no, that absolutely yeah yeah a addressing that a, a lot of people when there's discomfort there's a switch that goes straight to what's wrong. 
And when we start having a different relationship with that switch and exam it like even explore like, well, who am I if there if this isn't a problem? Who am I if there's nothing wrong? Who am I if this is what unfamiliar feels like and I've been avoiding unfamiliar my whole life? It's okay. It's okay. And like, you know, like Jane, you were talking about the community, the the people among us that we can have we now have access to that to reach out and say, holy smokes, y'all, like this is rough. Who else is going, who else is rough? Let's get together and eat the cookies and laugh and work our way through it. Mm. It's a completely different opportunity, a totally new opportunity to relate to riding the rapids, so to speak, um, with laughter and lightheartedness rather and curiosity. than- and he, absolutely, rather than a pickaxe and a chisel and you know a rope to lasso the nearest boulder so I don't- Hold on. It's, um, it's, uh, I don't know, that's, that's all I see. And it's in part because I've been cultivating and, and creating my own relationship with life in that way for a number of years, that with the curiosity and what, why, why is this happening for me, instead of to me, and we can walk next to each other as we each discover that aspect of ourselves, discovering how to receive all the gifts, whether they're comfortable or not. You know, I've been uncomfortable yeah. to, for decades. So bring mm -hmm. on the cookies and let's have fun with this, you know? Yeah. It just being yeah. there for that expression other. of vitality as well. Like the, the, the numbing and the no feeling is the safe zone for a lot of us. And so whenever there's like, okay, now, now we rise and that's when we really get to test things actually. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, I, think, I think, I think there's been a lot of, there's, I, I, you know, I think that, and, and, and I think speaking to like bringing this into the everyday world, like, I think that, I think that the most powerful way to change other people is to change yourself, you know, keep the practice that cultivates this, 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 new beginning you know uh, it's important and, and I think that and I think that like you know and I, I I mean and just as a teacher who goes around to places like I feel the safest in in the whole world in my arena with my horses and you when you spend enough time in that space then that safety goes with you wherever you go mm. you know it goes with you wherever you go to the degree, uh, I'm sorry, to the degree that you don't ever, you're not ever worried about safety anymore. That's you're not right. worried about feeling safe anymore because you show up with your full heart and it is connection that creates safety. Horses teach us that. And so when I bring and offer connection, I have right. just created safety. And, right. you know, mm. of course you don't step in front of a bus. I mean, there's pragmatic things to do this, but but that emotion, that sense of emotional safety, that, that willingness to be wide open and vulnerable, you bring with you because you find for yourself the experience of who I am when I, there is no threat. And people and, will uh, hold you and security. people will hold you up. And, and I think that this is where then it's important to, you know, I, I, I love words and, you know, it's, it's important to define what a thing means. And so like, for me, you know, connection is listening and sharing stories and, 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 and care, you know, and, 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 and consideration and offering and also accepting help, <laughs> you know, um, I think that there's all of these, there's all of these things. And I think that when I work with the idea of connection and relationship, you know, it's, it's working on like, Okay, Nishan, we use your strengths to make your weaknesses stronger so that you can move more towards wholeness and not worry about good. We're just worried about whole, right? We're, mm -hmm. we're moving towards completeness and not towards satisfactory, you know? Um, and so it's a it's a it's a it's it's one of those things that I spend a lot of time. It's one of those things that I spend a lot of time 
um, playing with and around, you know? Hmm. It's funny, uh, as you're all talking, it, it's um, exciting because I feel like the summit may have possibly been like like booster cables on a lot of hearts, you know, yeah. that it like it supercharged or gave a jolt or an excitement or a charge to everybody's. And I feel like that that probably that's why the theme of this, there was a currency already there where everyone kind of went towards this place of love and, and uh, bringing out their heart. But I feel like for a lot of us probably coming, there's generally a guardedness around being able to just authentically pour ourselves out there because we're all coming from our small little place, so to speak, and, and telling our stories and doing our work. But I feel like, I think that's my greatest excitement about all of this. I, mean, I just so appreciate and love you guys joining and sharing so richly. Just thank you so much. Um, but I feel like I, I'm almost, I'm experiencing this as well, just a little bit more strength and conviction and confidence just to be me and, and to share me and, and to, um, and Jane, you said it, and to support you guys. Like, it's so exciting for me now to just think about lifting you guys up and sharing and letting people see you and doing our best to do that for each other. It just almost seems exciting now, instead of it being on any level, like, like, you know, oh, I don't know, or what should I do? Or, you know, like playing the head games that we play. It's just like, no, it's just what needs to be done. And I'm excited to continue in that space. Um, yeah, it just feels like that's what it felt like to me. It's like, we're just all getting charged to, to grow in our convictions and recognize that we are all in this together. Like all of us are in this together and we're all a piece to this beautiful puzzle. And, yeah. um, and it really is, love is the glue. Right. Like that's this the thing that's just tying us all together. I actually had a conversation with Mark Rashid and Chrissy McDonald today, too. And it was on the same lines. Like I I've had a vision for decades about how can we build a structure that lets us all come together and share in this way from this common foundation. And so it's been building for me. And the timing is, of course, perfect um, to 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 start bringing this structure forward and and have more of these conversations to mm -hmm. share more of these conversations so um josh thank you for doing this mm -hmm. tonight and mm -hmm. inviting us to come and play with you it just mm -hmm. is really epic and thank you to everybody who's here i mean 50 people have been here the whole time so thank you all <laughs> for for staying part of this conversation and um i know i look forward to just creating more opportunities like you like all of us for more of this you know this is a lesson in following a nudge because honestly that's all that this was is i had this sense of like hmm, i think that this should be done and then i'm just so thankful for all of you to you know to just share in that because this has just been beautiful i just honestly i thought i was going to come and i was going to tell everybody a little bit about two summits that we you know the, the best first practice and then the journey on podcast and and that was going to be the deal. And this turned into just another beautiful experience. Oh, of Josh, did you really think we were going to let you get away with that? <laughs> That's so sweet. Uh, I'm so glad you didn't because this is rich. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I didn't realize you were all kind of scheming there. <laughs> like, think to Charlie. Charlie, you ready to yep. go online? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <Well> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so good. Well, for any of you that don't know, I'm sure that you all do, but each one of these beautiful people has their own beautiful things that they're doing. So I just encourage all of you. I know Carrie and Sean have books out and Jane, you have your, your um, joy ride. And uh, uh, what maybe would you guys just do that for a second? I would just love to hear just a little bit about what each of you, just to like a snippet of what you offer. Like, can you share with everybody just what is your piece to the world that your your heart is on that you can offer the world? Uh, yeah, Jane, go. Jane, Jane, go. Jane, Jane, Jane. Still yet, still yet to perfect this in under 22 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, what is, like, what my work, what I do for work? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, like, what is it that you offer people that they might be able to be blessed by by the beauty that is Jane? 
thank you. Well, um, I just need a sip of tea before I answer that question. <laughs> See, <laughs> you were teasing me that you put me on the spot. <laughs> That's called so reversing the, the reversal. The main <laughs> vortex that I work with is I have a, um, my, my overall business is called Confident Rider, but my love is my membership program, which is called Joyride. And mm. um, within that, there are lots of different strands that I work together with that mainly focuses on um, <clears throat> the nervous system and like creating adaptability and responsiveness and just getting yourself in a position of being in alignment ultimately and um you know just just allowing yourself to be present for what is and that can involve reconciling things that have happened to you in the past on various different levels that show up in your body in various ways and so I'm very writer focused in in that respect and I deal a lot with um rider biomechanics as well so finding mm. the balance lines and finding the uh yeah the point of balance in the saddle I guess from a physical perspective that's very much focused on how your unconscious brain figures things out for your body um so that's mm. a fairly horrendous example of uh what I teach <laughs> well if I can add to that <laughs> if I can add to the detail that Jane has to offer she uh, for some of you that saw the summit, but Jane went into the power of the tongue of like what the tongue has and the impact of it. So that was just, you know, yeah. that was just crazy, Jane. I, I'm the... really interested in uh, brain maps. So brain maps, body mapping and how our unconscious basically uh, fuels and is the deciding influence on our body, which involves us giving up lots of control patterns and behavior. Mm. So there's, mm. there's mindset and movement and nervous system stuff in there that, yeah, mm. is my love. Awesome. Who wants to go next? Nishan wants to go next. <laughs> That's right, I do. Um, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, you know, I write um, and I teach. Um, I, uh, and I listen, you know, I don't know, I mm. don't, I have a really hard time describing myself because I mm. think, um, I don't, I don't think that it's, I mean, those are the three main things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, um, and horses show me some really wonderful things in the, in those spaces. Um, I I I uh I don't know. I I I mean I'm going to start teaching a little bit more. I'm going to be traveling some next year. Um but that's I mean those are the three things I do. I I mm. I, I I I listen and I and I teach and I write. Hmm. It's awesome. And you do have a couple of books out that people can enjoy some of those three things in. Just oh, okay. cool. Yeah. I do. I just this part make <laughs> this. Part, I want to just full disclosure like this. This that makes the, the whole that make the whole self promotion thing. It's yeah. a really weird art that I have not. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Practice. I think we could swap and be like, Sean, what does Jane do? Jane, what does Carrie do? Carrie, <laughs> right, what does Jane right. do? And we'd be like, well, <laughs> because and we're like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you know, you just never know how people see you. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, you know how you walk through the world, but you don't know how that's perceived. Mm -hmm. And and um, and 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 I'm not a big big advocate of hope for a lot of things, but like I hope that I hope that people um understand that like power and connection aren't two aren't different things. Mm -hmm. Like that's truth, mm -hmm. right? Like those are the like. Those are the things that's 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 one foot in front of the other as we walk. You know what mm. I'm saying? Um and 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 it's the safest place to be. Mm -hmm. Um yes. and just and just it's the safest place to be in presenting your yourself to the world beyond everything you've been taught to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and man. so I don't know 
I mean, and, 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 and like, that's my personal work. And that's how I try to show up for the people who ask me to show up for them. And, um, and I really just give horses room to heal, mm. you know, which is really giving myself time to process the world and not be overwhelmed by <laughs> showing up for people, mm. you know? I just feel like I, the, it's for me that the addition to this guys is we're talking so much about love and the challenge is for us to love ourselves. And, the, and, and in this, like just being able to share, is it not the greatest act of love, self-love to then be able to just, just administer? Cause I guys, okay. You guys got to talk first. I haven't been able, I haven't shared it, but I totally a hundred percent understand this. Like it's almost as if we live in a space where we're living by a false lens because in our hearts, there is no desire to self-promote. There's no desire to make it all about me, but yet we live by a lens of trying to be worried about that interpretation when it's not even in our hearts, you know? And so then the expression of self-love then is then just to be able to say it, just to be able to like, here's what I do. And I'm just loving myself by sharing with you who I am and what I offer, you know, and yeah. this is my, this is my gift. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's been, it's been hitting me lately because, because, you know, it's in all of us because we're all, we're all very caring people who don't want to seem like we're playing the role of, you know, self-aggrandizement for self. I, uh, I, I think, I, I don't think that that's, I don't think, I mean, for me that I don't know that that's like, I just don't have a lot to say about myself. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, like I really, I, I, I do offer things. And I, like I said, I write books and I listen and I teach like, that's really all I have to say about myself. Mm -hmm. um, not because no, no, I'm Sean, playing. I, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Play, interrupt I mean, you. I'm not playing humble or anything. Mm -hmm. I just. I just. I mean, it's just like, you know, I. I. I bare bones it down. Like that's. That's what but I, I do. But I think you don't know what to say about yourself because it's so in you that it appears effortless. And when it comes out, you don't think of it being a thing. I don't because it just that, pops up. But it is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is a thing because we're all sitting here going oh that's a thing and mm -hmm. you're like there's no thing and we're like that's the thing I don't know what like, you're talking about exactly because it's your thing I, I mean if people do that and do you I know what I'm talking what? about Carrie what's what what Jane do you, you know what I'm talking about when yes I, I do yeah, I do know what thing. you're talking about I do <laughs> and and Nishan I I am with you a thousand percent because people ask you know Carrie what is it and that was the whole thing about presentation at the summit what does Carrie do and often uh what I'll tell people is you know they say what do you, so what do you do and I say I I have no idea you're gonna have to yeah, follow you me around and watch because I just go around and I offer people cookies and we laugh and then everything gets better. And yeah. that's what it's like in me, right? But, but to really share, and I agree with you, Josh, it is an act of self-love to discover articulation, um, not for self-aggrandizement, but because mm -hmm. we have so much to offer and so much to share, mm -hmm. the words make me uh, appear more accessible uh, to to certain people. I mean, with Nishan, we all can just sort of ride our magic carpets and, and join the Nishan train. And I mean, we'd be happy forever, like loving, loving that beautiful space. And, and at the same time, I have I think learned... a 24 hour Zoom, just in the background, yeah, right? kind of like Big Brother, but like just Nishan. <laughs> I don't mean to sound creepy in that, but like. <laughs> oh, man. So, that, so that's what I do. And so maybe sometimes it helps to put it in just terms of what I love. And like for mm. myself, I, I absolutely love those moments where I get to be there watching somebody feel the part of themselves they've been missing. And it can be so subtle or it can be a big boom, you know, push water out your face moment. But it's, it is the moment of watching somebody become themselves. Mm. And that takes so, it, it can take so many different forms, what it takes to get there, what mm. it takes to walk next to somebody, 
Um, and whether it looks like a writing lesson or if it looks like a, a one-on-one -on -one session, or sometimes it looks like saying hello to somebody in the grocery store. But the, the whole point of everything I do, like I think both of, maybe all of us have said, is who it asks me to be, mm -hmm. right? Like what I do is become more myself because it assists everything. And horses have assisted me on that journey. They still do. They, that species is my partner, like the whole species. I go to Australia and they're like, why does my horse already know you? This is weird. And it's, there's a, such a depth of connection through the heart that was a gift to me that I chose to keep, keep receiving. And it took me places I never never yeah. wanted to go, you know, but said yes, because of the love, yeah. because that is now among this human community. And I had to give up caring what it looked like until it started getting better than anything I could have ever asked for from my mm -hmm. tiny little thinker. And, and this is where we are now that we all get to show up as ourselves like not as the professional or the author or whatever, the meditator or whatever, we get to show up and, and say, I'm exploring as well. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're yeah. doing it side by side. And I like, this is even this conversation is so heartening for me, you guys, just because the conversation I had earlier today and the direction that I want to contribute to taking all of this. So you guys, thank you. Thank you. You inspire me immensely. I'm beyond honored to, to be side by side with all of you, like all the four of us that have been talking, but everybody on this call, because it takes yeah. everybody to bring all this out. So it's, oh, the, the beauty is epic, absolutely epic. And I wish I had cookies for everybody. I have cookies, <laughs> cookies for you. <laughs> it's funny, guys, as I'm sitting here listening, is I think I think what I did is I asked the wrong question because I asked a question that caused us to almost think of comparing ourselves with business and you know with what other people are doing in business but what the question should have been is what what is it that you love and what is it that you do for the world out of the love that you have in your heart because that right there sets a tone of thinking of it entirely different because all of us uh, have have the the beautiful privilege of being able to really administer the antidote of what we love and, and the, the thing in the world that we love to do. And I believe that's why, uh, you, you know, Nishan, this is a thing, right? Like people start to ask questions, you start to listen, and then words just start coming out of your face. Like it's yeah. like, you don't, you don't know, I don't know I don't where know they're coming where from. from. I'm it's available. True. To I'm I available understand. to it. And like, I, I and, and I'm, and like, like, it's going to be incredible. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it's gonna, I feel it. Mm -hmm. And and I just have to, I just have to show up mm -hmm. and everything I need is there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. I, wish, I, I, I mean, I mean like that's, that's like, that's, that's how it works. Like I open my mouth and I just hope that something beautiful comes out <laughs> because that's, so that's cool. I mean, really, that's really how it works. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to play small at all. Yeah, no, um, I hear what you're saying. I, it's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really, it's really just practicing being and staying available. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, uh, other words too is, is becoming the instrument, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Letting yeah. my voice, letting the body, letting the movement, letting the, all of the experience that has brought us to here become an instrument for the expression of love and yeah. it, it does take cultivation it takes willingness it takes courage it takes whatever it takes um but this is where what i am watching humanity coming to the place of recognizing that it's it's not dangerous it's, it's might be it is tense. it is the yes yeah yeah mm. it, yeah josh what do you do what do you love <laughs> see yeah. now i feel like it's been set for me to be like this is now how I'm thinking of it. You know, if, if I think of if I think of what I have what I have developed based on loving the world and sharing my gift out of love, I feel like it comes out of an entirely different lens to share it, like to talk about it yes. now. And so I feel like I've I feel like I've been 
uh, this has been set up really well for all three of you to kind of work work out. We've worked we've worked this out, guys. That yeah. we're sharing. You can just inter- invoice <laughs> me for the therapy <laughs> session. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yes, perfect. Like, Thank mm-hmm. you. Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I I teach, and I really really what I do is I show up, and I feel horses and I feel people, and my gift is to sense alignment and misalignment and allow the words to come as I sit in the space and I feel how I can help people align and align relationships and whatever. And most of the time I have no clue what's going to happen. Yeah. But as you show up and you be present and you get really quiet and you listen, then, then it's like you can somehow feel the strands and reconnect and you take strands and you reconnect them here and you, you know, it's like you just help people find equilibrium and center within themselves. And then I built a website around it. But I feel like, guys, I want to inspire all of us because I feel like it just came as we did all this. It came to me to then share it. But it feels so different when I'm just saying to you and I'm sharing what I love and I'm yes, sharing what right. I do for the world to love the world. Yes. Because yes. that feels like really we're going to be doing the same. We're going to be sharing the same message that this is what we do. But when it comes from the heart of here's how I love you, not here's what I'm doing to make money, you know, it comes from an entirely different place. And I feel like that's going to fuel all of us to just be able to share in a much, in a much more authentic way when it's like, here's how, here's how, here's how I love you. (laughs) You know, it's like, here's what I'm doing to share my message, the gifting that I am to the earth with whomever wants to receive it. You know, it's so beautiful. Josh. It's It's really beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Would, would we like to invite Miss Shay Stewart to also share what she loves in the world? Is she here? Oh, There's a Shay Stewart on the call. Shay Stewart, did you seriously try to hide? <laughs> there is no hiding place. I've tried mm-hmm. it. <laughs> we all Shay. have. They we tried show it. Shay, yay. Shay. I was about to go to bed and I jumped on. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I can't <laughs> believe you were trying to hide. Carrie, I'm so glad you grabbed her. <laughs> you, you gotta How thank are you? Lisa. I'm good. I'm just getting over the flu that I got oh, at no. the summit, but I'm good. It seems like that was a little bit of a thing, hey? Oh, yeah, totally. Wow. Totally. So well, I'm just soaking in, listening to everybody. Yeah. That's awesome. I would so love to hear, you know, honestly, I have to say your, your session touched me so deeply. Um, your, the level of depth that you reach to and your way of bringing it out in words. Like, I think, I think each of us shares that in a different way of kind of having this uh, ability to use words because words are necessary on some level to transport to emit energy and touch, let people touch something. I feel like what you did um, allowed me access to something that I didn't feel before you opened your mouth. So anyways, right. I just wanted, I don't think I was able to share that enough when I saw you, the, the podcast, the summit was a bit of a, you know, everything just felt so jarbly and awesome. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to be able to share that with you because you, you are, you're, I don't even know what to say, but it was like, really really deep really cool that that means a lot to me thank you so much yeah you're welcome yeah that that was that whole experience was it was so profound and Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect going in on that and I didn't even know what I was going to talk about or say (laughs) because you know like Nishan was saying I I don't talk about myself that much and Mm you know, just go out there and try to convince people that what I'm doing isn't completely out there. (laughs) Mm. It's so subtle, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, So it was really hard. So I thought I would try to put something, something together that would be more of an experience instead Mm. of words. So I appreciate what you just said. That means a lot. Mm. No, you're welcome. Yeah, um, uh, I guess we've all had our chance to share a little bit about our our uh, 
yeah, our whole experience. So I, I just, I want to hear you talk more. That's what I'm trying to say. Say more stuff, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm better at writing things down than words don't always come out of my mouth mm -hmm. as easily. So um, I don't know. I was just thinking today, I wrote a post about how it felt like, to me, the whole podcast felt like we were we were all in this tide together mm -hmm. and it was rising and we were all just floating and rising up with it and the um the vibration or the consciousness the connection was expanding just out mm -hmm. into the whole environment even people watching people people you know across the world watching it live they were all feeling that and that was really that was really incredible for me mm -hmm. you know, i agree it, it was something it was like the first within the first couple hours of the first day i started feeling this and i mm -hmm. thought wow this is this is so much bigger than what i could have even imagined mm -hmm. this experience to be mm -hmm. It's like they say when a group of people get together and meditate on the same thing, that there's a very powerful shift that happens. And yeah. that's what I imagine. Yes. I mean, that's what it felt like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I 100% agree. I feel like that's, and, and I'm, and I feel like uh, there's two calls. There's two calls. And I feel really compelled about this. And the first call was, is that we all got to experience love. We got to experience the presence of it in everybody like that was the thread and it drew everybody to that common call in all of our conversations all of our messages came down to that whole element of what it was and then i feel like that's the next piece is i you know i say this to people in clinics all the time you know when we're teaching and we're trying to it's really important you know to when people gather together in a group and these groups become cohesive and connected that it's important to let that continue forward, to retain the community and keep the connection. And, and honestly, like if it's not written in time for this to happen, because this was this, like, look what's happening. It's, it's, it's just mm -hmm. needs to happen. It needs to keep even, happening. Even the whole, like people who follow um, astrology, the whole alignment of everything and the full moon and mm. all of that. I mean, the timing of all this was, mm. Like it was, it was a big deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's yeah. something we've all been creating for a long time. So many hearts have been asking, can't this get easier? Isn't there an easier way? Do we have to be fighting so much? Can, and even if it's just, can, can we be nicer to horses? All of those are, are asking questions to move humanity in the same direction, which is toward the awareness and embodiment of love. And so, yes, of course, there's there's limitless alignments that have come together. I mean, look what it what it takes to get this many people and all their little details organized, even on just a physical level, to show up in the same place at the same time, and how much has to come together to meet this person in the elevator, you know, or mm -hmm. get that phone call at just this time, a dink a dink a dink, and on and on and on. The answer is yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's orchestrated. And we've all been creating it to this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we are open to that perspective, it might change how I see myself in this moment, mm -hmm. knowing I'm right now contributing. And my questions, my curiosity is contributing to the next ripple, whether it's two, a two-person ripple or a 250-person ripple. That's how beautifully powerful and meaningful my presence is and my mm. thought patterns and my curiosity right so it's uh events like this give us the opportunity to wonder in these directions and um and to to chat in these directions and to say yes to each other when when mm. we share our wonder together and that's what we're doing right now and it just it's uh, it's remarkable it's remarkable. i love that sharing our wonder together Mm. I was just thinking about what you said, Josh, about when with that original question, and I, I'm not sure if my thread of thought will be coherent, but I'll try. Mm. Um, in terms of why I struggle with it is that my whole experience of 
my work life, which is my life, incidentally, mm -hmm. is not in a box that's easily defined by the mm -hmm. normal social fabric. And so when I'm asked that question, my my universe tries to condense into something that is understood by the regular person in the street. Mm, and I'm yet right. to be able to do that. And essentially I'm unemployable <laughs> at the base of it, you know, but I think a lot of us are, you know, within this, so everyone that was together is like, and I don't mean that literally, you know, like we have our own thing that has been created and it's been created I'll speak from my perspective like what I do doesn't feel like a decision it feels like this is what I love and this is what I share and this mm. is the form that it's taken and I don't do anything to anyone you know I share <laughs> that and then I say this is what's helped me find my way back and mm. this is what helps me stay present for mm. what I am and for who I need to be and then I have no agenda as to whether you take this and think I'm this, that, or the other. I will just share this. And then mm. by miracle of miracle, I have a business around that, which still just blows my mind every day. And so then when I get that question, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's, a, it's still fascinating. It's a wonderment to me that, that I'm here too. Like <laughs> you right. tell me sort of thing. And so I, the kinship as well is with this group, this collective group of people who are the same essentially mm -hmm. like this isn't a decision this is I I couldn't not do this like it right. that's what it feels like to me and yeah. so it's like and now I just share and I send it out there and I just get to bask in the beauty that someone makes sense of it like I do and then they would <laughs> allow me to make a living out of it that's that's yeah. where I go with it so that's uh, uh, what I would have liked to have said at the start yeah so <laughs> we can just scratch that at the start that's awesome <laughs> well, yeah. well, well done. Done. Your beginning set a, a tone for very good conversation. So, so you you can also take credit for that, Jane, because that was pretty awesome. <laughs> no, honestly, you know what? This is just so so amazing. I hope that I hope that everybody's been blessed by this conversation. I I know for myself, I feel like maybe for all of us, the uh, the blessing of this conversation is just the. Um, um, the push or the, you know, the drive to that we're in this together, we're, you know, we're all here for such beautiful, important reasons and sharing that message is the way that we can love the world. And I totally agree, Jane, I 100% agree. I don't know how I've gotten where I've gotten. I don't know how it is that I do what I do, because I am just a weirdo that shows up without a plan, and exactly. somehow helps you get really happy. You know, it's like, you know, and, and I love it. And it's so rich because it's just a matter of showing up. And and I believe that to be the beauty when we can be in our gifting and we can just be present in, and listen to the space. You know, Nishan's always talking about that one because it's so, so true. And we can listen, we can hear the need. We can hear what's needed in the space. But when when we're when we're just trying to make a horse do something or we're trying to just put a person through paces, we're not really present with what the higher need is. And I think when we can get into the frequency of that, there's just so much rich information there. And all of us seem to, to just touch different strands of that information and, and bless and bless the world with it. So I, I hope that I can encourage everybody myself. I'm encouraging myself in the process of saying it, but just the beauty of, of just continue guys. Like I, I hope that every one of you here has been able to be blessed by this, which was entirely unplanned. Like this was not organized. Um, and, and that we can all just, just continue to love each other, to continue to work at understanding each other better, loving ourselves, loving the world, sharing our gifts. Like don't hold your uniqueness back. Like there's no, there's only one of all of us and we're all like this so that we can be a blessing that no one else can be. So um yeah, I just, I'm just full guys. Thank you. So thank you all so much for blessing the space tonight and being present and showing up and being yourselves because I love you all. <laughs> so good. Um, any other thoughts guys, before we wrap it up? Uh, it, no thoughts. I just want to just sit here and bask in this for a while. Like yeah. The feel, yeah. the feels of it, that mm -hmm. there's such a completeness in the feels of it and the love that's here. And thank you for creating the zoom and inviting everybody josh mm. and yourself and 
Nishan and Jane and Shay, you guys, it's so beautiful to share space with you. Uh, I, I definitely feel blessed. A hundred percent agreed. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Well, man, it's exactly right. It's like, okay, it kind of feels like it's done, but I don't really want to leave. (laughs) (laughs) So this brings me to my shared commune idea where we oh, can right. just all start to pull into like a collective location <laughs> and uh, just hang so Jane, out. Jane, uh, stay tuned because I Excellent. have a little thing brewing. So <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll all be I, will, I will prepay for my condo, whatever you want to call it over there. Like, is it, is <laughs> timeshare, that, right? Yeah, timeshare. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Oh Very good. my. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, Josh. Thanks, Jinx. Thanks for putting this together, Josh. This was. This was really beautiful. And, and, you know, I think that out of this, I'm really gonna commit to not, um, you know, just uh, climbing back into my little hole in the ground, mm. you know? Um, <laughs> so yeah, really. So, you know, I, 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 it's, it's, I think it's like, I think my personal challenge for this is just to not, to, to, to do my best to not to not be strangers with any of you all, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be my work in this. So thank Mm -hmm. you. Thank you for, for putting this on. And this was beautiful, man. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I, I, I guess I can kind of take responsibility, but it's like, you can yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, all right, but I got to hop off guys. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Thanks for coming. Uh, Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. And I want to maybe do this again sometime. Uh, I know there were some comments about that, about maybe creating a space where we can just get together and chat. And maybe maybe that's a thing we need to do um, where we can yeah, do something like that. So anyways, we'll see what the future holds. Um, I am excited to spend more time with all of you. So thank you so much for sharing space. and. Uh, Let's see what the future holds. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>